name is Alex Buczkowski, and this is Geosome Talks, show about everything geospatial, air observation, and drones. And today we've got on the show uh, Laura Heinrich from Airbus, who is a product marketing manager focused on elevation uh, products. Uh, we've covered elevation of the latest elevation uh, 0.5 uh, product in the article that you will find in the description of the video. And it really made us super excited uh, and to, to some extent also surprised that you can get that sort of digital elevation models or digital surface models from satellite data. And it, it, it was really super, super impressive. So we've decided to uh, invite Laura uh, on the show, on the show to, to share some more details uh, about the product. Uh, hey, Laura, uh, could you introduce yourself uh, to, to, to our community? Of course. Hello, everybody. And uh, really a ple pleasure, Alex, to be uh, with you today. Um, yeah, so my uh, background uh, I have, uh, it's uh, more technical. So I have um, studied uh, geography and uh, geology, uh, but already with a strong focus on remote sensing. And uh, when I started my career in Airbus, um, I started uh, with the generation of uh, radargrammetric elevation models based on our radar satellite imagery. And um, I joined the product marketing team some years ago. And uh, for two years now, yeah, roughly, um, I'm a marketing product manager taking responsibility of our entire elevation portfolio, including elevation models based on optical and radar imagery, our 3D product, such as uh, the 3D textured model, and ground control points. Okay, okay, super cool. So uh, you've recently launched this uh, product, Elevation 0.5. Uh, could you share a little bit more details on what it's all about? Yes, of course. So um, as the name already suggests, the 0 0.5 stands for 50 centimeter posting, uh, which we can achieve thanks to our Pleiad Neo satellite imagery. Uh, alongside this 50 centimeter resolution, uh, we reach a relative uh, accuracy to a level of three meter, uh, sorry, one meter and three meter absolute. So one meter relative and three meter absolute uh, with the support of our Airbus own reference database. But if you add ground control points, we can reach up to 50 centimeter vertical accuracy with this product, which is really uh, unique in the combination of resolution and accuracy. Uh, in addition, the um, Elevation 0 0.5 offers um, an outstanding 3D quality objects such as uh, trees and buildings um, are represented in a photorealistic way and a very high level of detail. And this is thanks to Airbus uh, own photogrammetric uh, production process um, and uh, the quality um, of the input imagery, which we get from our Pleiad Neo satellites. Okay, um, th this, this sounds really impressive, uh, 0 0.5. Oh, uh... Also, absolute accuracy with uh, control points. This is this is. I mean, th th this compares to Ariel uh, survey rather than what it, what we typically know as you know, satellite digital elevation models. Uh, so, how is it different from all the other uh, dig digital elevation models or elevation products that you have in in Airbus portfolio? Uh, yeah, so in the portfolio, we have a large range of uh, elevation products. Um, some of them are on a global scale. So elevation products uh, like our World Dam uh, product, uh, product suite covers the whole globe uh, in different resolution up to five meter posting. And then with uh, the elevation 0 0.5, this is an on-demand product. So um, on request, we are acquiring fresh data and uh, in this very high resolution. 
So um, there's always this split between uh, a global product and uh, the on-demand product, uh, which take really benefit um, of our um, uh, agile satellite constellation in order really to acquire very fast and uh, fresh data um, yeah, in a certain time frame. Okay, uh, you, you, you've also mentioned this proprietary photogrammetry processing or workflow or or technology could you share a little bit like from behind the scenes you know, how does it work what is what is really unique about this yes so uh, uh i can share a little bit behind the scene so um well in general uh, creating a digital elevation model requires multiple uh, satellite images um, that then can be combined uh, using the principle of photogrammetry. In the case of elevation 0 0.5, uh, we are using, as already mentioned, our um, 30 centimeter Pleiad Neo satellite, uh, with um, uh, whom we can offer really this high resolution stereo and tree stereo capability. So this uh, is really needed um, for us in order to uh, achieve this uh, high quality uh, 3D model. And uh, thus uh, all the acquisition are made. Um, so we can start the automatic stereo matching process, which includes the filtering and editing of artifacts. Uh, this is important as well. And after that, the usual photogrammetric process can take place solving uh, the 3D georeferencing, and then uh, at the very end, finally creating uh, the model and uh, do the visualization process. I, I guess that by now, uh, the audience is looking at the video uh, showing the, like one of the, the, the 3D models of the cities, and we can see the edges of the buildings that are super accurately uh, represented, we can see you know, things like objects, like even trees or, uh, or, or vehicles or, or other things that are, that are just out there. And this is like also the facades of buildings. This is all super accurate. Uh, so how much manual work is uh, involved in, in this process to actually make it look that photorealistic uh so um of course let's say we have uh, the whole um automatic processing chain so the stereo matching all of this is really um uh, completely automatic of course depending on the level of editing we have uh, some manual let's say interaction as well and uh, at the very end for the quality check um as well but yeah, so the most of the processing is really completely uh, done automatically within this um, uh, yeah, uh, photogrammetry process, which we uh, developed within Airbus. Well, this is uh, this is impressive. I mean, I, I know how how hard it is to get that sort of 3D mesh models, uh, 3D models. So really great job on this, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got the super accurate uh, 3D models, uh, 0 0.5 meters resolution, but what can we do with it? So where do you see some of the key applications for such data? Yes, so, um, well, um, while the focus of these kind of uh, models tend to be on the digital terrain modeling, and uh, the 3D visualization. Um, there are as well some natural extension, for instance, for the gaming and the defense industry. Um, so we see uh, yeah, a range of exciting use cases that become possible um, within this level of resolution where we really can replace the need for drone data and aerial data for some applications. So, um, Maybe to give some examples in the military context, um, when we're talking about high precision weapon targeting and mission preparation um, for the aviation, um, the 3D information is used around airports to handle low altitude flights and other considerations. 
And uh, uh, as well, a very exciting uh, sector we see with the urban mapping. So uh, let's say in the context of digital twin visualization to simulate plants and buildings or um, to analysis solar energy potential on rooftops and many other, uh, let's say, smart city concepts which can be supported by this kind of model. Uh, okay, uh, so now the important question that everyone would certainly uh, want to know about. Uh, the cost, how much will it cost me to, to get such a high resolution <laughs> elevation model? And then also, how do I actually you know, access it? How much time does it take to, to get it from the moment that you no, know, I, I submit my order, uh, and, and so on. Yeah. So of course, for you, we can do a special prize. <laughs> No, but I, yeah, I, I yeah. guess so, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in general, so the standard for a standard uh, area, um, we have, uh, let's say, a pricing of uh, 95 euros per square kilometer in place right now. But uh, I have to admit, this really depends as well on the area, on the size and on the terrain a little bit. So uh, we do um, as well with the team, uh, yeah, short visibility. Uh, to see, uh, let's say, if we can hold this cost over this area. But yeah, in, in general, this is our standard price. And um, uh, we have, uh, let's say, from the moment we get the receipt of an order, uh, we check the acquisition and uh, the timeline. And we propose, of course, uh, the acquisition time. And uh, let's say for a normal area, uh, we um, yeah, estimate uh, uh, production time and acquire time from roughly one to two weeks. So this is, let's say, the benchmark I can give you at that stage. And uh, so far, let's say the customer can access uh, the product uh, via our webpage and uh, via our customer care team. And uh, as well, in the near future, we are working currently on a service uh, that uh, we can offer it as well. Our uh, via our One Atlas platform, as we do already for our World Dam global data set. Uh, this is already available on a platform, and uh, we will uh, shortly integrate as well our on demand product there as well. Okay. Uh, so, last but not least, question. Uh, we, we know that. There is, or you also mentioned that there is you know, a whole bunch of different elevation or digital elevation models, products uh, from, from Airbus. Now you are adding this super high resolution data on the top. So what is next? What can we expect? Do you actually envision you know, having such a super high resolution global data set at some point or merging all of the, the data sets you know, in like a, a one huge elevation model to rule them all what's 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 next to 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 expect from you guys yes this is a good point and exactly so the next step where we are already working on is um let's say based on uh, uh Pleiad neo uh, imagery to work on the uh, second generation of our 3d textured model um so for more um yeah as well urban visualization uh, and simulation cases but yeah, with the whole elevation portfolio, we have um, in mind uh, to combining them all, as you said, to offer um, as well on global scale, very high resolution elevation models. And uh, we will use as a base layer our work and new uh, data set. And uh, we are about to integrate, uh, let's say, the on-demand products in this data set as well. Uh, and uh, our idea is that the customer can come to us, choose the area of interest wherever it, wherever it is, and choose um, his need in terms of resolution. And uh, we will deliver, doesn't matter what kind of resolution, if it's, uh, let's say, 70 centimeter or 7 meter, whatever, uh, that we can uh, make it, uh, uh, let's say, available uh, in elevation models but not only a surface model as well um, on, uh, let's say, a DTM uh, terrain model as we have, will have soon globally available in five meter posting as well. 
And um, as well, we are, let's say, we have some future uh, satellite constellation uh, in the pipe uh, where as well with, um, uh, we will, let's say, uh, be able to cover the world in 3D uh, in one meter resolution. So this is, uh, let's say, the next generation of satellites which are already in the pipe. Uh, Laura, what can I say? Exciting times for the geospatial community and for anyone working with uh, elevation data. Uh, thank you so much for sharing all of these insights uh, with us and with the community. And we really look forward to actually seeing you know, much more demos and examples uh, of, the, of the application of the products. So uh, really huge thanks. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. And uh, yes, please stay tuned uh, about uh, the, the time to come. So uh, beginning of next year, uh, you will hear a lot of, uh, let's say, more uh, info or get more information uh, regarding uh, Elevation 0 0.5 and um, let's say all our other uh, activities and improvement we are going to take in the future. Super cool. Thanks so much, Laura. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.